To increase performance and adjust virtual memory in Windows 11, right click on your start button and then click on system. Now, if you're not on the about page of system already, which it may default to, but it may not, just make sure you click on system at the top and then click on about at the bottom. All right, and then here we have related links. We're going to click on advanced system settings. And on the advanced tab under system properties, we have the performance area. Here we're going to click on settings. So by default, we get this kind of setup, let Windows choose what's best for my computer. And there's a bunch of animations and extended visual features uh, that essentially take up processing from your CPU and your graphics card, right? So the first step you may want to do is click on adjust for best performance, which simply turns all these things off. Now there are some that are useful and you probably want to keep. One of them I find is use drop shadows for icon labels on the desktop. Depending on your background color or picture, uh, it'll just make visibility a lot better. Uh, related is smooth edges of screen fonts. You want to be able to read as clearly as you can at all times. And a third is show thumbnails instead of icons. So if you're looking in you know, your, your photos folder and you want to see the thumbnails of your pictures instead of just an icon that says it's a picture, uh, then you want to select that. Other than those, I think everything else is good to leave turned off. But of course, read through them and anything that you want to keep, check it off. All right. Now, under performance options, there's an, another advanced tab here. You can choose to adjust your computer for best performance running programs or background services. Generally, background services is something that uh, you only want to emphasize on a server. Uh, so if you're serving files or other items, choose background services. Otherwise, programs is probably your best bet. And then the critical area that we're going to jump into here is virtual memory, right? So we're going to click on change here. And right now, it's set to automatically man manage paging file. So we're going to uncheck that, right? We're going to go down and we're going to look at the recommended amount of RAM. Currently allocated is 1280, which is very close to the recommended. Not bad. In this case, sometimes it's way lower, right? But regardless, we're, we can click on custom size here. And then we can start with the recommended size. Uh, we'll put the one megabyte larger that they already had. So we can put 1280, right? And then here, I would recommend putting, if you have enough disk space, three times the recommended amount, right? So 3840 would be three times 1280, right? And then you click on set, right? Now, before you just accept that advice straight up, I will mention that, uh, you know, if you have very little room on your drive, uh, you may want to just stick with, you know, put 1280 and 1280, right? Keep it at that size. Or uh, in special cases, you might, go, want, might want to go much higher than the three times value. Uh, I've rarely seen instances where that would be necessary, but I did personally have an instance where I was using animation software and I had to go six times larger. Otherwise my animation software would crash when it was trying to figure out all the, you know, little visual bits it was supposed to figure out. So uh, you might need to play with this in your uh, own particular situation to see, you know, what works best for you. But assuming that this advice, the general advice is fine, we can then click on OK. And then uh, it's going to remind you that the changes you have made require you to restart your computer before they can take effect. So just click OK to that. Click OK to the open dialog boxes. And then go ahead and click Restart now if you're ready to do so. Otherwise, if you have files open, etc., it's safe to just continue working and restart after you're done and all your files are saved. Hopefully this helps you.
Thanks for watching.